Hello beautiful people, in the last video I show you how to solve the longest increasing subsequence problem using dynamic programming but the solution was not efficient because we used a nested loop so how we can reduce the time complexity and that's what we're gonna do in this video we're gonna reduce the time complexity to O of n log n instead of O of n squared by using binary search algorithm so for this algorithm we're going to create an array that will have only the index of the smallest number in the input array that comes at the end of the longest increasing subsequence of length i. For example, let's say we have this input list. So how this algorithm is gonna work? We're gonna iterate throughout the array and instead of iterating at all the numbers that comes before each number, we're going to use binary search. So we're gonna have the indices array and also a variable length that's gonna start at zero. The end gonna have the length of the longest increasing subsequence. And for the indices array at the beginning, we don't have any longest increasing subsequence. So we just add a bunch of known values. So we start iterating over the array with applying binary search. And as we know, binary search algorithm is a half interval search, means we will have a starting index and an end index. And we look for the middle. And after that, we compare the middle to the current number. If it's smaller, means we start searching at the right. If it's bigger, we move to the left and we continue until the start is bigger than the end. So starting at the number 10 at index 0. So we're going to say indices at index 1 means the length of the longest increase in subsequence because we only have one number gonna be the index of the value 10 means zero so if I want to simplify the phrase it's gonna be the at index one inside indices array the longest increase in subsequence of length one start at index one and ends at the index zero means the number 10 after that we start looking for the greatest number that are smaller than nine that ends an increase in subsequence so we can see where we can put nine so we have index zero stored inside the indices array that represent the number 10 and 10 is greater than 9 means 10 cannot come an increase in subsequence after 10 and we have only one option so we can only have an increase in subsequence of length 1 that start at 9 and end at 9. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna replace 0 inside indices with the help of the binary search by index 1 that represent 9 means at index 1 inside indices array the longest increase in subsequence sequence of length 1 start at index 1 and ends at index 1 mean the number 9 and we move to the next number the same approach is repeated means 2 cannot comes before 10 or 9 so we replace 1 inside indices list by index 2 that represent the number 2 because inside the indices list we want to store only the smallest number that can be at the end of the longest increasing subsequence and the smallest number between 10 and 9 and 2 is the number 2 at index 2 so we update the indices array at index 1 to index 2 means the number 2. We move to the next number 5 at index 3. So here we're gonna apply binary search algorithms to find the number that ends an increase in subsequence and is smaller than number 5. So 2 is the number that comes before 5. So we point 5 to 2 inside the indices array means we add the index 3 next to index 2 and we update the length to be Two. So we move to the next number with applying binary search algorithm at first. So we have number three at index four. Now we have the length of the longest subsequence equal to two, means the end gonna be two. So the rules in binary search is first we look for the middle, means we sum up the start and the end divided by two. So the middle value here gonna be one. So we look at the value at indices array of index one, means two, and two is the index of the value two inside array. And we compare it to the current number three is smaller Yes, so we move to the right by adding 1 to the middle. So now we start the starting index is gonna be 2. And the end is gonna be 2. And we move. Means the middle is 2. We look for the index 2 inside the indices array. The value is 3, which is the index of the value 5. Is the number 5 smaller than the current number 3? No, so we move to the left. Means the end is gonna be equal to middle minus 1. So now we have the start index equal to 2. And the end index is 1. And the base case binary search say if the start index the past the end index return the start index so now what, what are we gonna do is replacing inside the indices the index of the number five which is three by the four which is the index of the number three because three cannot come after five and we know that two was the smaller number that and that ends an increase in subsequence and that's how binary search gonna work for this problem it's a little bit harder 
But once you're going to see the code, you're going to start to see how it's easy to implement. So let's jump at the code explanation. The first thing we're going to do is initialize an array called indices and range length of the input array plus one because we are calling each index inside this indices array and that each index i we are storing the longest increasing subsequence of length i. So we want to have a longest increasing subsequence of length n where n is the length of the array because at index zero we are not storing anything we just leave it as non value we start at none. After that, we declare a variable called length, which is going to be the result. And we start iterating over the input array for i, num, enumerate, nums. So the first thing we're going to do is to apply binary search. We're going to declare a variable called update length equal to binary search that take equal to function binary search that take as an argument number one and the length of variable and the length variable, also the array indices in the input array and the current number that we are at. So for the explanation of this line of code, the indices array represent the subsequence of length i, where i is the index in the indices array. And we say that the first value is going to be always none, and we want only to apply binary search at index 1. And the end index is going to be the longest current increase in subsequence. So let's define our binary search function. The first thing we're going to do is to define the base case. If the start index is bigger than the end index, return the start index. After that, we look for the middle, which is equal to the star plus the end divided by two. So now we can say if the array indices at index middle is less than the num, the current number, then start at the middle one, plus one means the number at the middle index at indices represent a number at input array. Is this number smaller than the current number? If true, we ignore all what comes before. Otherwise, the end index is going to be equal to middle minus 1 because we are overwriting a number inside the indices array and we are storing the smallest that come at the end of the increasing subsequence of i. So we can ignore everything at the right and we call the function recursively until we hit the base case. And after that, we update the indices at the update length equal to the current index because that will be the position where we want to put our number. And the last thing we're going to do is to update the length to be equal to the max between the current length and the updated length. And after that, we can return the length, which is going to be the result of, of the length of the longest increase in subsequence. So that's the solution for this problem using a binary search algorithm. Time complexity is going to be off and log n because we are iterating over the input array and at each iteration we are applying the binary search algorithm which take log of n. The space complexity is going to be off n because we are building an array with the same size as the input array. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.